Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are doing well, right? So students, uh, today in this video, we are going to start with our new poem, okay? And the name of our poem is The Shape, alright? So uh, this is written by Frank Flynn, alright? So before I uh, begin with the uh, explanation of it, okay? I'll just give you the little introduction about the poet, okay? When he was born and uh, who was he, alright? So here, Now this is a uh, Frank Flynn. Okay, now Frank Flynn was a Northern Territory based Australian uh, author, doctor, and uh, you can say the missionary priest. Okay, he was born on sixth uh, of December in the year nineteen sixteen, and he got the education from uh, Sydney, and that is from Australia. All right. So he has written uh, you can say lots of poems. Okay, so we'll read one of his uh, poems, which is about the shade. All right. So we'll see here. So here, have you uh, ever heard about the word the shade? Okay, so first of all, please underline this word. Okay, which is given over here, the shade. Okay, so what is shade? A shade is nothing but it is a simple a uh, roof structure, uh, which is you can say used for the garden. Okay, or you can say to put the things which is extra. Uh, there it it our home okay and we can uh, give one more word for this uh, shed like you can say the hut or you can say the uh, any other uh, the, there is a special uh, specific uh, place where we put the extra things over there right now we'll see here what is uh, introduction given about the poet okay about the poem okay do you know what is a shed is a cow shed a tool shed a wood shed for example. It is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools, vehicles, etc. Ask your partner if she or he has ever seen a shed. Let her or him describe it to the class. All right. So you know this is the introduction uh, given about the poem. Okay. That what is a shed? Uh, now shed can be uh, come can come in uh, for a multi-purpose okay there can be a cow shed also there can be a tool shed also okay there can be wood shed okay there are there kind uh, there are uh, different kinds of shed okay so what is actually shed it is just a small room okay where we keep uh, the like uh, lots of things like and which is away from our main house wherever our main house is it's little away from it and we keep it or you can say we uh, use that shed for keeping things like you know animals or tools or vehicle or extra things which we use on not on our daily basis okay so this is about the shade okay now we'll read the poem we'll read the stanza then we'll understand the what the poet is trying to tell us all right so here there is a shade at the bottom of our garden with a spider's web hanging across the door the hinges are rusty and creak in the wind when I am in bed, I lie and I listen, I'll open that door one day. So here, you know, you can see in this uh, like uh, picture clearly, okay, that there, uh, the poet is telling that there is one shed, okay, in the, at the bottom of our garden, okay, and it is like, uh, it is, uh, you can say that uh, at that, uh, in that shed, it is, there is a spider's uh, web, Whenever you know the uh, we don't keep the cleanliness in the in our home, there is always a spider's spider's web. Okay, so he the poet is saying that I saw there is a, a spider's web hanging across the door. Okay, so you can clearly see in the picture. Okay, uh, there is a spider's web. Okay, and the hinges are dusty. Hinges means the uh, you can say the doors are very uh, rusty. Rusty in the sense it has got the rust on it okay it is in the very bad condition and creaks in the wind okay the it has uh, got very uh, you can say the, the wind is passing from it okay and it has the very uh, different kind of sound he uh, you can hear from there all right and he's saying that when i am lying uh, in on my bed okay and i can listen all this uh, types of noises which are uh, i am getting from this from this shed all right so I'll open that door one day. So the poet is deciding that he will open that door uh, which is there in the shed. All right. So he is saying that he'll open this door one day. 
but don't he don't know that uh, that day is going to come on which day all right he is just deciding that i will open uh, that door one day and i will see that what is there inside the shed all right and then we will see the next one what is given there is a dusty old window around at the side so you know the the near that old window there is uh, the dust is there lots of you can say the dust particles are there right because nobody has cleaned it all right with three cracked panes of glass so there is there is the uh, window glass okay and it has the three cracked panes all right so you can see over here in the picture it's given okay uh, the three panes of glass are cracked one is this one one is this one and one is this one right they all are cracked okay they all are uh, in the bad condition uh, they are supposed to get uh, like uh, soon it will get uh, you can say the uh, it will get into pieces okay and it will fold down all right so the poet is explaining about the glasses okay it has a very cracked pans of glasses all right i often think there is someone staring at me so you know the uh, poet uh, many a times thinks often means many a times he thinks that you know there is someone inside that uh, that uh, shed okay and he's staring okay he's looking at the poet from that window all right each time that i pass i will peep through that window one day so the poet is uh, saying that you know whenever i will pass uh, through this uh, whenever i pass through this uh, shed okay i'll i'll whenever i pass through this day i think that somebody is you know staring at me and i want to know that who is inside that shed okay so what is the poet deciding he will peep through that window one day so he he is deciding that i will uh, to peep means to like you can say to look inside all right to uh, get the glimpse of that window okay so poet is deciding that he'll go near that shed one day okay and he'll look inside that who is uh, like uh, looking from the, from that window at me all right who is staring at me he thinks that there is someone inside the shed all right then our next stanza my brother my brother says there is a ghost in the shed now in this stanza the uh, as of now we saw the two stanzas right there was only one person you can say the poet okay and the speaker itself okay now in the this stanza they are mentioning about the poet's brother okay so poet's brother always tells to the poet that you know there is a ghost inside this shed okay there is one ghost inside this shed who hides under the rotten floorboard so who is the ghost is hiding under the rotten floorboard so you can say rotten in the sense that a uh, floor first of all we will underline the both the words rotten and floorboard okay floorboard means the wooden uh, board is there all right and it's very rotten it's it's very, it is very in the bad condition okay it ha it is not in very good condition so the poet uh, poet's brother is saying that there is a one ghost okay who is uh, hiding himself in that rotten floorboard okay and if i ever dare to see foot inside uh, he will jump out and chop off my head okay so the uh, bro his brother is trying to you know uh, afraid him okay that you know if you will ever uh, think that you will go inside there and you will see what what is there all right so what will happen that ghost will jump on you okay and he will cut off his head chop means chop off chop off means to cut off his head okay so here the uh, the poet has uh, got the little courage you know in the beginning that he will go one day inside the shed but here in the third stanza we saw the poet's brother is trying to uh, like upgrade his uh, his own brother okay so he is getting little scared that no uh, if i'll go over there there is a ghost then he will might uh, jump on me and he will cut off my head all right so it's better not to go over there right so but i will take a peek one day so here again the author is the poet is saying that okay uh, i am not worried about anything okay i'll do one thing okay i'll but one day he decided one day i will surely go over there okay and i will see that what is there inside that shed okay he's not uh, thinking that there is nothing like ghost and there is no one okay one day i will surely go over there and i will see what is inside there all right so now we'll see the next one i know that there isn't really a ghost my brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den so here the uh, poet is saying that uh, he knows very well there is nothing uh, like uh, really a ghost okay there is no one in the shed and his brother is just making up the stories okay and he is just telling lies you know to keep that shed for his den means to keep that shed for uh, the 
for his own personal use okay so there is isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web so now the you know poet is trying to tell us that you know there is no one uh, staring from the window okay and there is no one who is making the uh, different kinds of sounds from that window okay now the uh, spider was also there and who has made the wave over there all right now the spider has also gone from the gone from that place okay since i don't know when so the i will go into the shed one day soon but not just yet so here the poet is saying that you know uh, i don't know when but i have decided that i will surely go to that shed one day okay and but as of now not just yet as of now he is not going but he decided that he will surely go inside that shed all right and you will see that who, what is there inside that shed all right so this is the you can say uh, the shed which is uh, like there outside the of your main house okay which we usually find outside the main house where we keep the different kinds of you can say or we store different kinds of things which we uh, don't use on our daily basis right so here uh, this poem is about uh, the shade in which the poet finds the different kinds of uh, you know like uh, things and he has doubt that somebody is staring at him all right and when he is uh, like he de he decided that he'll just uh, go over there he will just look into there and he'll just open the door and he will get to know that who is over there so i hope you understand this uh, poem about the shed all right students so here now we will see about the uh, questions questions which is given about working with po the poem okay so we'll read and we'll just discuss about the this four question answers all right students so Uh, this you don't have to write, but you have to just underst understand about uh, like who is the speaker in the poem. Okay, we'll read one by one, and then we will discuss it. Discuss it. Okay, so so here we will read the first one. Okay, answer the following questions. First one: Who is the speaker in the poem? So I think the speaker in the poem is not mentioned, right? But perhaps you can say the poet himself is the speaker in the poem. Okay. then second one is he or she sorry is she or he afraid or curious or both so here they are asking you that uh, who, whoever is the speaker in the poem okay whether it can be she or he okay whether it can be girl or boy so is the, if they is they are afraid or you can say very curious or they are both so yes we can say that whoever is the speaker of this poem okay he or she is very afraid you can say the poet is very afraid uh, about the shade okay and is very also curious means very excited to go inside the inside the shade okay and want to uh, know that uh, like uh, why is getting getting heard the all different kinds of sounds all right and why he thinks that somebody is staring from that shade all right so we can say yes both uh, the he or she or you can say the poet himself is afraid also and is very curious also all right and then we have next one uh, what is he she or he planning to do soon so what is the in the poem we saw that what they are planning to do soon so here the poet is planning to you know go inside the shed very soon but as of now he has not decided that uh, on which day or on which time he will go over there but he decided that he will go surely one day into the shed all right and he will see uh, he will explore the shed he will see that what are the things over there and uh, like is there someone really who is staring at the at the at the poet itself itself all right then the fourth one uh, but not just yet suggest doubt fear hesitation laziness or something else choose the word which seems right to you tell others why you choose it okay so here this uh, pairs okay this line that but not just yet now what does this line uh, tells us what does it expresses right it uh, tells us that uh, tells us that the poet has the doubt no the poet has the fear you can say no the poet doesn't has the fear right because he decided that he will go the into the shed okay he show his courage okay now the poet is having the hesitation no he doesn't have the even hesitation he doesn't have the laziness or he is i think uh, according to me he has the lack of a conviction right he did not convinced himself up to that level or you can say up to he is not prepared enough to go inside that shed all right so he 
uh, hardly uh, got the courage to go inside that uh, shed and he decided that one day he will go but that but not just yet but as of now he is not going over there all right so this is this are the four questions which is uh, given over here so and number question number 2 we are not going to do uh, in right now because it's useless to discuss in the in this video all right uh, if we, we would be in the class then we might have discussed uh, with all of the students all right students so uh, as of now we are doing up to this much all right please uh, understand this poem okay try to find out the words which you are getting difficult so your today's homework is that you are supposed to write this poem two times in your rough book and you have to show me all right so write with the good handwriting and uh, try to understand and and just explore the poem more and more all right students so please uh, stay home stay safe and uh, just complete the work which is given by all the teachers thank you students